Hi guys and gals and kittens and welcome to the I Need a Magic show. So uh, yesterday OpenAI released uh, GPT-10, uh, aka uh, Project Strawberry, also known as GPT-5. According to OpenAI's uh, statements about um, uh, O1, it is uh, roughly the equivalent of a PhD student in regards to its ability to reason. This is a significant improvement from GPT-4, which was equally smart as a high school student. So we're basically capable of accessing AI that is probably 100 times as intelligent as what we have had access to so far in uh, GPT-01. Now, uh, we've uh, already uh, implemented web search because one of the issues OpenAI uh, have with um, O1 is that it doesn't allow for executing functions or searching the web or scraping websites. So we just figured uh, we'd have to solve that. So there's a link in the description of this YouTube video to uh, this URL where you can actually play around with uh, GPT-01 and actually have it uh, search the web as you see fit. So we've set up this as an example SaaS AI chatbot. What I mean by that is that this is an example of a SaaS AI that we can uh, deliver to you. So if you want to have a, your own SaaS AI chatbot based upon GPT-01, allowing it to search the web and scrape websites or execute functions or whatever, then uh, please reach out to us and we can help you to set up that. So let's uh, demonstrate first how it works. Hi. You see, by default, <clears throat> and this is configurable, I can go into MISC, I can go into configuration here, and I can configure it as I see fit. But by default, the system gives the user, uh, I think it's five questions <clears throat> uh, that everybody can ask for free after having logged in. If I now, for instance, uh, continue um, asking it uh, questions until I've exhausted my free questions, then uh, what is uh, going to happen is that uh, the system is going to, let me see, maybe I've already purchased. Yeah, you see, I've, I already have a subscription. <laughs> so let me delete my subscription and then say hi again. The system is going to pop up a payment form, forcing me to create a subscription. So this is just a demo example sauce. So you can actually provide 42, 42, 42, 42 as your, your, your bank account uh, number. If I pay without link here now, and then just provide any future date and any future CVS code and any name, John Doe, then the system is actually accept, accepting it as a payment. That's because this is just a demo sauce and we're actually not charging you for access to it. Once you, you have um, paid, quote unquote, using the fake visa, you can actually use uh, GPT-01 and ask up to, I think it is 15 questions a day. So now if I tell it to search the web for Thomas Hansen Hyper Lambda and um, uh, give me your thoughts about the programming language. Both um, positive things and negative things. Explain it to me as if I'm 10 years old. So now it is uh, searching using DuckDuckGo. It is finding relevant uh, links that it will use to analyze the programming language for them to explain to me what type of lambda is as if I was 10 years old. Speed of development, okay, it's uh, much faster to develop. Efficiency, even though it might be slower, you can actually build faster apps because of the way it is uh, tied together. Scalability, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So now I'm using GPT-01 with web access uh, and all of a sudden my GPT-01 model has the ability to actually search the web similarly to how, um, how um, <clears throat> perplexity AI works. So you might argue that now with the latest release of GPT-01, then by combining that with iNero, 
you can actually build a better perplexity AI than perplexity AI because as far as I know perplexity AI doesn't have access to GPT-01 they're using uh, less intelligent models and um, let me just show you the infrastructure. Now, if I want to cancel my subscription, I can cancel my subscription. I can configure the system to have as many subscription plans as I want to, or as few. I can configure the system to use as many free uh, messages as I want to. And of course, most importantly, every single time a user register, you can go to users and roles. And as you can see here, here's Thomas at Gaiasol.com, my user. And the system collects email addresses and, user and names of every single user that logs in. If I now illustrate this by deleting Thomas at here now I don't have a Thomas at user. I log out and I log in with Google and I choose Thomas at Then if I refresh here now, you will see that the user has collected, the system has collected my name and my email address and I belong to the guest role. When I pay, profile, upgrade, pay, pay and subscribe, <clears throat> the user will associate me with the basic role here. So now you can see I belong to both the guest and the basic role. Anyways, that was it for today's video. If you want to build your own SaaS AI chatbot company based upon uh, uh, GPT-01 uh, and add web search to it or any other type of uh, functionality uh, utilizing our AI functions, then uh, please reach out to me and we will get you started. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.